our queen of the kick teams, the Seeking Kicks are back. With the cell phone, of course, here they are with Sylvie. Excellent leaders and role models for our girls. 
She said that she's been so very thankful to have been given the opportunity to share her love of dance with the ones she works with. She plans to attend UND to pursue a degree in elementary education. Two teachers right here, I love that. And she hopes to continue to teach dance someday and stay involved in some capacity. Rachel Lesney. Next is Kayla Miller. Kayla started in dance in the fourth grade back in 2006. They think it was nine years. They had to do math on that one. She enjoys doing the kicks and the routines as well as going to the competitions and seeing all of the other dancers they compete against. Competition weekends are a favorite family memory for them because it's not just Kayla. They have had five children in dance at pretty much all times in that family. Kudos to you guys, I love you. <laughs> the whole family goes along the competition and they are like me. They're from 7 a.m. until 9 p.m. Me and the Bjornsons. <laughs> By the time they get through all of their kids. Kayla will be graduating high school and plans to join the workforce. Kayla Miller. from her old days whenever she hears the song, come on, she can still do all of the old dances. She loves music. Her parents say that JFK has been a total blessing. She's found many friends and has learned so much more than dance. Cassidy will continue to go to school through age 21. She loves working with people and currently when she's not at school, she's working at Heartland Care Center, doing activities with the residents and she hopes to continue with that job in the future. She's known for work in the crowd a bit. I think mean, she did that earlier today, and that was mild in comparison to some events. At Valley City, she was on the far end of the floor. She hit her pose, and the rest of the team took off the floor, and then she realized the team was heading off the floor, and she came to center court, and it was quiet, and we're talking thousands of people to the rafters in this facility. Thousands and thousands. And it was quiet at that point because most of the team had exited. She stopped center court, pumped her fist in the air, and screamed, Yeah! And the whole place erupted with cheers and claps and some standing ovation. She rocked. Ladies and gentlemen, our third period is 